Hey everyone, it's Tina Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about finger detangling, how to finger detangle, and what are some of the pros and cons of finger detangling. So I just washed my hair and the shrinkage is real. I just washed my hair with my Formulate shampoo and I'm going to be using my Formulate conditioner. So Formulate is a company that specializes in custom made shampoos and conditioners specifically for your hair. So you just fill out a short quiz and that is it. They make a shampoo and conditioner specifically for your hair type and your hair needs. So I do have a giveaway going on right now. It ends November 27th. So go ahead and I'll leave a link down below where you can enter that giveaway and win your own free custom made shampoo and conditioner. So I am just sectioning off my hair. It's easier for me to work in sections because I want to make sure that I get every inch of my hair. So after I section my hair into four sections, I section it off a little bit more. And I'm starting with small, medium sections. So we're just gonna say medium sections. And my hair is already wet, so I'm just adding the conditioner to it, making sure that it's on every strand of hair. And I start at the bottom of my hair. So I'm holding my hair with one hand and I'm just detangling from the bottom first. You wanna make sure that you start at the bottom because it'll be so much more easier for you and your hair. You won't have to tug on it or anything like that. And I just gradually work my way up. So I move my hand up to hold my hair and then I just continue to detangle all the way down. And the reason I do this first is because it's easier for me to manage my hair for what I'm gonna do next. So this step is optional, but this is what I do. I take all of my hair and then just start separating little pieces and I'm just running my fingers down the strand. So this helps to identify if I have any single strand knots that I missed when I first did it. And if you do have a single strand knot, it's easier for you to feel it rather if you were using a comb you will get stuck and you'll just like try to comb it out this way you don't have to be so rough with it you can just identify it then you know gradually take out that single strand knot and not being so rough on your hair so I like doing this method because it just helps so much and then after I'm done doing that I just take my hands and then I just start finger detangling again just to make sure that everything is peachy keen I go in different directions I put my fingers through it up down round around I just want to make sure that it is properly detangled and that is what I do for every section of my hair And once I'm done with that section, I just go ahead and twist it up and continue on to the next. So one of the benefits, as I just stated, you can easily identify knots in your hair. So if you have a knot in your hair, you can gently detangle it rather than combing or brushing it, which may cause you to even make the knot tighter. And this leads to my next benefit, which is less breakage. So the less knots you have, the easier it is to identify the knots and gently unravel them would lead to less breakage in your hair.
I like doing this method with finger detangling because not only does it make sure that my hair is fully detangled with no knots, but it also helps define my curl pattern. And that is another benefit of finger detangling. It helps define your curl. Another thing I have noticed with finger detangling is that I retain more length. Um, in a few of my videos, well, my past videos, um, a lot of you seen that I recently cut my hair. It wasn't a drastic cut, but I did cut my hair, but now my hair has grown back fairly quickly. And I think that um, finger detangling has helped because my ends aren't breaking. I noticed that I did have a lot of um, breakage so that's why I did cut my hair but now that I'm finger detangling more often the curl definition my ends they're just on point and another thing is that I have less shedding so I wish that I had um, a picture showing you guys how much hair I used to shed when I would detangle my hair with a comb or a brush I'm not saying that detangling with a comb and a brush is bad, but I did uh, have a lot of hair that shed it. And at the end of the video, you'll see how much hair that I shed doing this finger detangling. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but when I used to detangle with a white tooth comb, sometimes it would hurt because I will be combing my hair out and it will get caught on a knot and I would just comb it out, which was pulling my hair. It was pulling my scalp and it was just a mess. And detangling your hair is not supposed to be painful, but sometimes it can be. So when you finger detangle, you have no choice but to be gentle with your hair. I mean, that's what you want to do because you're using your fingers. You don't want to hurt your fingers. You don't want to hurt your hair. So it's much easier on your hair and your scalp if you detangle with your fingers. All right, so the one con that I have with finger detangling, and y'all probably already know what it is, is that it can be time consuming. So what I will say is that over time, and once my hair got used to it, and once I got used to finger detangling, which didn't take long at all, your time is going to drastically cut down. So some people, it may take them you know, 20 minutes, others, it may take more than 30 minutes. It really just depends on you and, you know, the sections that you work on and how fast you can go. But that is the only con that I do have because overall with finger detangling, my hair has been doing really well.
so after I'm done, I just take all of my twists out and I go rinse out my conditioner. And this is what my hair looks like. No product, only water. All I did was finger detangle with my conditioner and you can use whatever conditioner you like. But this is my end result. I absolutely love it. And this is how much hair that I lost while finger detangling, which I think is amazing because usually it will be more than that. But that is basically it, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you finger detangle and how has it turned out for your hair. And I'm going to finish the rest of my wash day by putting in my deep conditioner. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all on the next video.